Ribbonet, Ericsson's optical fiber installation system, has, since its introduction in 1999, become one of the most successful systems for fiber optic access network applications. It's also used to a great extent for urban networks. Hudiksvall was an early pioneer within fiber to the home and to date over 2,000 apartments have been provided with fiber connections using the Ribbonet system. We're now going to have a look at how this was done. The technology is based on a system of micro ducts that are first installed in buildings. They come in a variety of types for outdoor installation, for example in ducts or direct burial, aerial installation or as hybrid cable together with electricity. Installing micro ducts requires a minimum of time and effort. They're laid in the ground in the same way as ordinary cables. The cable and the micro ducts are spliced in a branching cabinet above the ground or in a joint closure. Hybrid cables are being used in this cabinet which divides the power cables and optical fiber to run in separate channels. In this installation, the optical fibers have been installed together with the power cables. They can also be drawn in with the TV antenna cables, or via the ventilation system, lift or elevator shaft, or the garbage chute. In this case, use has been made of the tiny space alongside the thicker electricity cables. Once the micro ducts have been installed, the fibers blown into the tube using a handheld blowing tool. Blowing the fiber from an apartment or an office usually takes no more than just a few minutes. The fibers delivered on reels with factory fitted connectors, which eliminates splicing or termination of connectors at the installation site. The fibers blown through the micro duct system either to a splicing point or to an optical distribution frame. The fibers are then gathered together and spliced to fiber cables or fiber fitted with connectors. Very few fiber splices are required thanks to the way the fiber is blown into an uninterrupted micro duct system. Due to the quick installation, the installation costs involved are minimal compared to traditional methods of cable installation. The ribbonet system is made up of fiber ribbons containing up to 12 fibers. Using fiber ribbons enables several fibers to be spliced at once in a ribbon fiber fusion splicer, which significantly reduces installation time. Once the fiber's been welded, the distribution frame is sealed and then connected to the active equipment with optical fiber patch cords. A node unit of this type can handle several thousand subscribers. The Ericsson cable handling system incorporated in the ribbonet installation in this node sees to it that the patch cords are properly organized and managed. To ensure the best quality even at the point of installation, Ericsson together with CUL Lanson offer a training package in ribbonet installation and fibre splicing. The courses are held in modern premises in Hudiksvall or at the client's premises. Upon completion of the course, participants receive certification as ribbonet installation engineers, a prerequisite to secure a system guarantee after installation. Ericsson Ribbonet technology makes tomorrow's broadband services available today. Fast internet access, digital TV and telephony through the optical fiber network is just the start of the development process that will stretch well beyond the foreseeable future. For property owners and energy companies, for example, this approach will mean considerable savings. The use of telemetry equipment to monitor electricity and water consumption fire and humidity alarms, etc., will optimize and reduce running costs. Ericsson's ribbonet system for blown fiber in access and urban networks constitutes a highly efficient method of installing fiber optical broadband networks. The number of homes and businesses that have been connected via ribbonet is increasing steadily. 
Ericsson's Ribbonette, together with the certification courses offered by CUL Lunson, offers an efficient and future-proof method of providing broadband networks through optical fibre.